Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver Marathon. If you guys remember in the last episode we did some stuff, go check it out. And in this episode we're going to be exploring Route 34 and hopefully the next city. So basically on Route 34, this is Route 34 right? I hope so, I'm pretty sure it is, but basically on Route 34 there's three new Pokemon you can find here. Um, I'm going to discuss them very quickly. As I, um, I'm going to go around here and battling all the people. Their stats will be up onto the screen. But basically, Drowsy evolves into Hypno. Good special defense, not really too much else. Uh, Ditto, it transforms into whatever the other Pokemon is. So, yeah. And then it's an Abra, evolves into Kadabra. And then Alakazam. And then uh, <laughs> Alakazam um, is a very fast special attacker. So, yeah, I'm going to have their stats up on the screen right now. And basically, I'm going to go ahead and battle all these people, so I'm going to go speed this up, and um, yeah, I'll catch you guys as soon as I'm done with all these battles. So um, just go ahead and skip like a minute if you don't want to see all these battles, because there's going to be like a good four of them or something, so I'll be back. Alright guys, I am back. We finally finished doing all those battles, and uh, there was a lot of battles, a ton of hacks too, and I mean a ton of hacks, oh my god, oh my gosh, but um, there was actually a Bulbasaur down there, which was actually really cool, that trained out a Bulbasaur, which is actually pretty cool, but um, to the left over here, if you have a Pokemon that knows Surf later on in the game, you can come down here, Surf down there, and do some stuff, and um, nothing really of importance, so yeah, but uh, if you ever want to go there, remember that. But I'm um, over here. We got some storylines, sort of. Not really. Grandpa. Oh no, not this. <laughs> Good work, Grandpa. The Pokemon you raised for me has been as healthy as can be. You look fit too. Oh, don't talk to me. Oh God. Hi, PT. No, oh, now I need to act friendly. Let me introduce you. This is PT. He's a trainer. He seems to be getting better at raising Pokemon. Well, not as good as you, Grandpa, of course. Follow me, PT. Oh my god, do I have to? Do I have to? Ugh, fine. Fine, we'll do it. Grandma, let me introduce you to my friend. This is PT. Aha, this is your boy friend. I see him. Ew. Nope. Please stop. What are you talking about? He just happens to live nearby. Haha, <laughs> I know. Since you brought him here, Lyra, you must be sure about his talent. Right, PT? Come and see us anytime. Well, I better go now. See ya. And she's out. Wait, no, she's not. She forgot something. Oh, I almost forgot. That's... Yep. Here, this is my Pokegear number. Oh, we got the digits. We got the digits. Uh-huh. Got the digits. Uh-huh. You can talk to your Pokemon as they follow you. Oh, do you. oh, yeah, I know that. Yeah, yeah. They do all sorts of cute stuff on the road and in caves. I'm taking notes every time they do funny things. Give me a call and I'll share some of them for you. Or with you. Grandma, don't you say anything. We're both trainers and we're supposed to exchange numbers, that's all. Right. Right, whatever you say. Anyways, this is the Pokemon Daycare where you can leave your Pokemon. And uh, basically, uh, they train your Pokemon up. Every step you take, this guy's just going to give them their number. Every step you take while your Pokemon is in the daycare, um, they gain one experience point. So you're going to need to take like thousands of thousands of thousands of steps to level them up so I don't really think it's worth it because you could just use that time to train but um if you got a bike I guess it's worth it this guy right here is gonna fight you in the nighttime there's a fight right here oh my lord I don't feel like doing this fight oh no no all right I'm gonna have to cut away to the music Alright, 
Well, that wasn't too hard. You want my number two? Everyone wants my number, damn it. But um, Porkchop died because that annoying Psyduck with his stupid disable. Oh, I'm disabled my headbutt. And Water Gun killed me. That's why Water Absorb would have really helped. But no, I just had to get damp. I just had to get damp. Oh my gosh. Anyways, enough complaining. Uh, hopefully we don't run into wild Pokemon because I would love to go over here and get... What is this? Embargo. Oh, we did all that for a shitty TM too. Wow, it's just all piling up. It's all piling up. Alright, anyways. Finally. Finally, we're here in Goldenrod City. And the first thing you're going to want to do here in Goldenrod is to heal up your Pokemon. Because pretty sure they're probably hurt by now. So, heal them up. Alright, so here we are in Goldenrod City. Now, Goldenrod is probably like the biggest city or, yeah, it's city, right? Biggest city in um, all of the Johto. So there's a ton and ton of things to do here. But the first thing you're going to want to check out while you're over here is the Goldenrod City department store. And um, actually, right here, this guy gives us stuff that our mom buys from us. Or buys for us, not from us. What the hell? And, um, yep. Oh, that's all I got. Wow. But, uh, yep, I recommend just picking him up because, who knows, sometimes she gives some good stuff to you. So, uh, yeah recommend doing that and I did not mean to go into the elevator what am I doing basically the Golden Rod City department store has a ton and ton of great amazing things for you to use um, what's on this floor I'm actually looking for a specific floor I don't know what floor it's on though okay here you can buy some potions and things like that but I'm good right now I don't need any get out of my way stupid camper um, there's this one floor that sells TMs I don't remember what floor it is on though what do you need what do you have there's a bunch of X stuff. Also, I'm going to be going through this just to show you what they have on each floor. So, yeah, it's not just not just for me. It's for you, too. Um, I would like... Oh, here's all the proteins and all that stuff. I'm not really into that stuff in the story, but um, that stuff is like raising stats for your Pokemon. That's like that's more of like the Wi-Fi scene. And uh, here we go, the TM section. This place has a bunch of TMs and stuff. And um, I'll try to let you know what TMs this are. This one is Flash. This one is Protect. This one is like Fling, I think. Fling, I think, yeah, that's Fling. This is False Swipe. This is Light Screen. This is Reflect. Over here is Solar Beam. This is, I think it's Focus Blast. This is um, Fire Blast. This is thunder this is blizzard and this is hyper beam so there you go i just i memorized everything man i'm too good i memorized everything so yeah there you go buy them if you want i don't have enough money right now so i'm not gonna buy them but i really recommend them because they really help out for um for the upcoming upcoming gym because there is a gym in this city too which is crazy i like everything i got the number two prize what is the number two prize a repeat ball wow we're just gonna sell that Go straight to the selling area place. We'll do that stuff later. Anyways, uh, another thing you're going to want to do in the department store is go down to B1 floor, or the B first floor. And uh, I think B stands for basement, so basement first floor. That's what I think it means, but I don't know. I have no clue. I've already been recording for 20 minutes, but the video is probably only like 5 minutes long or something. But uh, while you're over here, can't go over there yet. There's a bunch of Pokeballs that you can actually find here. Right here, talk to this guy. It is a uh, strong, manly Machoke. Machoke? Machoke is gonna move that for you, and you get yourself an Ultra Ball to sell, because Pokeballs are the best. We all know that. Right, another thing, come right here. This guy is gonna move that Machoke, and then you're gonna wanna move out of the way, and then talk to him again. Wait, nope. I'm just kidding. You, got, you gotta wait for him to move right here. You have to wait for him. You gotta wait. You gotta wait a little more. I think. I'm pretty sure. Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, now talk to him. And then his Machoke's going to move it. And then you can go over here and pick up another item. What item is this? This is the Almighty Burn Heal. Obviously the Burn Heal. Obviously. Uh, that's not the item I thought I was thinking of. This is the item I was thinking of, right? Nope. Ether. All right, the, it's the other item that we can't get yet. That's the item I'm thinking of. I think it's like a Max Revive or something like that. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Don't quote me on that, though. But I'm pretty sure. But um, that's pretty much all there is to do here in the department store. Now, time to leave. To leave, just go to the first floor. That's where you came in from. So, yeah. 
and then we can finally get out of this crappy department store. I hope. I hope, I hope, I hope. Can I get out? Yes, I can. There we go. Alright. The next thing you're probably going to want to do here in Goldenrod is, over here, is the Goldenrod City Game Corner. Safe and sound playground. Yup, the Game Corner is here in Goldenrod. I don't know if we can do anything yet. I hope we can, can we? This mini game Goldenrod thing is actually really weird. Seems you need a coin case to play. Aha! You must be here to play a coin game! Come here and I'll give you a coin case! Alright, let's go over here to this guy. Can I talk to him from back here? <laughs> I can. My name is Mr. Game. My heart pounds with excitement when people enjoy my coin game. In fact, that's what I live for. You look quite a challenger. Why don't you play my coin game? You can get fabulous prizes if you manage to collect a lot of coins. So you say yes, and then he's going to be, alright, here's your coin case. And then you get a coin case. And then you can play this game. I might do a game right now. You know, I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a game. Let's do this. Let's do this. Show me how you play with Make My Heart Pound with Excitement. Alright. Play World Torb Flip Level 1. Alright, let's do this. Let's do it. How do I do? You can just flip the thing. Oh, I got a Voltorb. Oh, no, I get zero coins. Is that it? Am I done? I don't even remember how to play. It's pretty much like Minesweeper, I think. Play. Alright, let's let's read the rules this time. <laughs> Voltorb Flip Level 1. Flip the card and collect coins. Times 1, times 2, times 3, and game over. Zero. So, uh, let's press X. Is that X? Yes. Open the memo, and we can we can basically you select what you think this is. I think it's. I used to be way into this like a couple years ago. Like talk to me a couple years ago, I'd be, I'd be way into this, but um, not so much anymore. So there's six, and there's only one Voltorb on this row. So it's going to be one of these, and it's most likely going to be this one because there's three Voltorbs in this row. So if you see this row, it says zero Voltorbs. So you know this whole line going up, there's going to be zero Voltorbs. So you can basically flip these, and you get a bunch of stuff. So let's go ahead and flip all those. And uh, times two coins, all right? Now, you can see there's going to be one Voltorb here, and then there's no more with zero. So usually what you're going to want to do is flip over all the ones with zero. And then it's pretty much a guessing game for me. You see this row has seven, so there's going to be a lot of stuff over here. So, I think I'm going to pick the bottom one. Hopefully there's no Voltorb. And it's just a one. Alright, let's let's go with this. Oh, we got times three coins. Okay, alright. That's good. Not not bad. Now, we got to look for times two. So, that's four. So there's only going to be three left. So, it's a two and a one. So, we have to take the chance or we can move on. I think I'm going to move on. <laughs> I think I'm going to move on. Alright, let's go right here. Times three coins. We got 18. Nice. Right here is times one. Alright, let's none of that. No more of that. Um, let's go. Where should we go? I don't even know where to go. Um, where should we go? Let's go right here. Times two. Yup. All right. So this row is trash. So there we go. We find all the hidden times two and times three cards. That means you find all the coins in this game. So the game is now over. And we see 36 coins. Yeah. And there's all the rest. They show you everything. But um, on to the next game. Advance to level two. Now we receive even more coins. So we can play level 2, and basically it just keeps going. And I'll actually try one more time, because I, I like this game. This game is really addicting. So is there 0? Yep, this one's 0. So I think they're all 1, so this is just... There's no point opening this just for for you, I guess. So there's going to be one Voltorb in this row, but there's 8. So let's flip right here. Times 3, not bad. Not bad. Let's flip, let's flip right here, 2. Times 1 right here, 2. Times 2, okay. So that's 5, 6, so there's going to be... A two. There's gonna be a two, so we gotta we gotta do one of these. It's now or never. I think the two is gonna be right here. So there we go. Ooh, this is this is scary. This is this is too much. All right, over here. This row you're probably not gonna want to do because you know it's just gonna be ones because there's only five tiles. It says three Volturb and two coins. So this row we're not gonna be touching at all. I'm actually gonna leave a mark. This is what you use the memos for. Um, right here we'll leave a mark. Let's close this memo. But these are all Vol Voltorbs, that's why I'm, I'm marking it. They're all Voltorbs, guys. <laughs> not really, but I'm um, basically just going to say not to press any of these. So if you're a professional at this game, like hit me up. We can <laughs> we can make it work. Uh, so this one right here is automatically Voltorb because there needs to be one in the row. So we're not going to be pressing that for sure. I'm not going to press any of those, so we leave it up to here. And over here, there's going to be times two in this row. So we got to use our math skills and uh, our amazing math skills and figure out how to do this so 
this row is we're not gonna hit so this row we do not hit either so let's open up this memo let's do that let's go over here and do that too and then down here let's do the same so we won't be opening up that row this is this is wasting so much time on the Lord I don't know why I'm doing this um okay enough of that let's just guess times two okay not bad not bad uh let's go not hit any of those rows let's go right here oh we got a volto okay whatever it's all good it's all good in the hood we're, we're done with this game now wow wow all right whatever we're done with this i'll do this stuff on my own time because um because over here if i can talk to these people welcome you we exchange your coins for fabulous prizes. you can buy an abra the sandstrew or a dratini I don't recommend buying any of these unless maybe you want a Sandstrew or an Abra if you can't find one out in the wild over there. Because uh, you can get a Dratini later on in the game. So I don't recommend getting it right now, but I guess if you want to, go for it. And uh, right here, this guy is the important guy. You can get TMs. You can get Substitute, Swords Dance, Rest, Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, and Flamethrower. I recommend saving up for either Swords Dance, mm, Flamethrower, Thunderbolt, and Ice Beam. Maybe Substitute if you really want one. Rest I don't recommend too much in normal play. That's for like Wi-Fi and stuff like that. And then over here you can get held items. Don't really recommend these too much because um not too good. So yeah, that's the game corner. And I spent way too much time over there. Way too much time. That's too addicting. I'll do that stuff on my own time. Uh, Alright, so right here, down in this area over here, uh, this is Bill's house. We'll be coming back here later though. Because, uh, hint, hint, you got a Pokemon. I wonder what Pokemon it is. Anyways, come over here, and right when you get here, there's going to be this little crazy marrow. And then Lyra. Hi, PT. You are just in time. We just can't get enough Lyra in this episode. When you follow this tunnel, you'll see a dress-up shop. That's where your Pokemon can put on accessories to dress up and take pictures. By the way, here's the fashion case. Do you want it? I knew it. This is a present for me. Aw, oh, thanks. PT obtained the fashion case. Keep accessories in the fashion case, okay? I should get going. See you. And she's gone. So yeah, basically down here, you can groom your Pokemon, make them feel better. Um, there's actually wild, wild battles, trainer battles. I will be doing those right now. I think why not right now? There's a lot of them, so I will be speeding this up, and I'll be back as soon as I'm done. Alright, well we're done with the battles down here, and uh, actually over here you can take a picture of yourself. Uh, what are these people saying? Very charming. Oh, we can dress up. Nope, I will not be dressing up. No, no, nope, not right now. You can do that, but that is not my thing. What does this guy say? We can wear a Team Rocket uniform and take a picture. Would you like to try? Of course I would like to try it. So, we get to change the Team Rocket uniform and take a picture with our fantastic whooper. Our smexy smexy whooper. Oh no, our whole team's there. Whoop, okay. Did not see that. Good job. You can check the pictures. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. Anyways, um, our whooper is actually asleep right now, but he's, he can still run. It's all good. He can still run. Welcome. I run the Pokemon Salon. I'm the older and better of the two haircut brothers. I can make your Pokemon beautiful for just $500. Grooming Pokemon makes a better look. So basically, this guy grooms your Pokemon for $500. And it makes them more friendly to you, so it's easier to evolve Pokemon like Togepi and stuff like that. And, uh, Eevee, hit, <laughs> hit. Wink, wink, I'm winking. Wink, wink. Anyways, all the way at the top is another exit, but we will not be going up to the top right now. This is actually a pretty long episode. I've been recording for like 35 minutes. Wow. Anyways, hopefully I'm going to speed up those parts a lot, though. A lot, a lot, a lot. Anyways, over here to, right here is a, um, what is this? Can I, the lag, man. This is the Magnet Train to go all the way to Kanto, but it's actually not working right, right yet. Right here is the Radio Tower. We'll be going there next time. 
right here is the uh, the Wi-Fi sort of place. It's the global terminal. Terminal, not terminal. What's a terminal? Oh my lord. Oh my god, I've been playing Pokemon for too, mu too much, too long. Oh my god. Can't even speak English. Alright, anyways, to the right. Uh, down here. Go all the way down here. First thing, right here, you can pick yourself up. Isn't it right here? I thought it was right here. Come on, I know it's over here somewhere. There's a super potion over here somewhere. I'm just going to keep doing this. I know it's over here somewhere. I remember. I remember. You, you can't cheat me out of this super potion. There we go. Right there. Super potion. And, uh, yup. There you go. Pick up that super potion because it'll definitely come in handy soon. Talk to this guy. Uh, I opened a branch here, but I can't sell my bikes. Why is that? Could you ride a bicycle and advertise for me? Yes. Really? Great. Give me your name and phone number and I'll loan you a bicycle. And then we get a bicycle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, yep, we get a bike. <laughs> you get a bike. Not as cool as it sounds, but actually it's way cooler than it sounds. All right, anyways, the bike. Go to your bag. Uh, you got to go all the way, all the way. I had a little bit of a voice crack. All the way to the bicycle. Register it. And then you can just use it if you want. But you register it. And then now you just press Y and you can ride your bike. The only thing I don't like about riding your bike, though, is that your Pokemon is not with you. So I tend not to ride the bike. Because I, I just really like the fact that you can run around with your Pokemon and stuff like that. So I tend not to use my bike. But, um, yeah. Right here is actually the exit, the other exit slash entrance to the underground little place. But right here is a really important place, the Name Raider. Basically, you can change your Pokemon's names if you go in here and talk to this old sorcery of a man. So you can do that if you want to. And, uh, yeah, you can do that if you want to. Right here is the gym, but you actually can't go in there yet because she's... She needs to get a radio card, and uh, right here is the flower shop. We'll be going in there later. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that is it for Goldenrod right now. In the next episode, guys, we're actually going to be doing some stuff. Actually, I, I'm i not going to be ending the episode yet because we didn't even do the Who's That Pokemon of the Day. I am so sorry, guys. So, so sorry. Uh, let's do the Who's That Pokemon of the Day right now. So, if you guys remember the last episode, the Who's That Pokemon of the Day was this Pokemon. And uh, if you don't, if you didn't already, just go to the last episode and comment down below saying what Pokemon this is. And uh, this Pokemon is a Printplup. So yeah, I actually love Printplup. The added fact I love Printplup. All right, anyways, the who's that Pokemon of today's episode is gonna be this Pokemon. Do you know what Pokemon this is? I do. Comment down below if you think you know the answer to this. Yeah. Anyways, I've been recording for way too long—38 minutes and counting. So I'm gonna go and uh, edit this up and uh, post it for you guys. So I will be seeing you guys in tomorrow's episode. And by the way, double digits, baby, episode 11. Oh, I didn't even mention it last time, but double digits, baby, I love it. All right, anyways, that's it. See you guys next time.